Hello, one and all, welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Oblivion. That man, when we last left off, we were trying to open a door because we were thrust into a combat we could not win. And we failed. 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 And we gained shield wall and we failed. 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 Would anyone mind if I added lockpicks to my inventory? And we failed. And we failed. And we failed. And we failed. Try to be super slow, super patient. And we failed. 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 Now, it really makes me think about how D&D is just the perfect RPG. And let, let me explain what I mean by that in just a second here. And we failed. What I mean is, this kind of thing would never work in D&D. And we failed. You could never lock players up in a room like this. They would always find a way out that you didn't plan. And we failed. They always have a way out. Because players are creative. And we failed. And we failed. There's always a, a scroll of teleportation or a spell or, or even just breaking down walls because a tabletop pen and paper RPG isn't limited to the mechanics that a video game is. And we failed. It just it makes you appreciate the, the, the openness you have in a game like that. And you failed. I failed. We failed. And we failed. Four minutes in and we're still failing. And we failed. And we failed. And we got dominate creature and we failed. 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 Load, please. Thank you. And we failed. 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 
Ah, oh, and we failed. It is genuinely just going to be videos of this over and over and over. And we failed, by the way. And we failed. And we failed. And we failed. And we got remote manipulation. And we failed. 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 You know, it might be easier just to hit auto attempt over and over until it works. And we failed. And we failed. What is my skill anyways? 41. And we failed. And we failed. And we failed. And we failed. Let's try it. What? Huh? What? That worked. That actually worked. And now that they have run room, I can actually fight these guys. That worked. Here comes Mr. Wizard. If Mr. Wizard is coming up, I need to quickly speed forward this fight. Still attacking, huh? That somehow worked. See, so this is all I needed. I need room to back up. Okay, I'm actually putting myself into a corner now because I'm sure this door is still unopenable by this side. With a skill of 41, the auto attempt at unlocking the very hard door actually worked. Holy moly, what's the percent on that? I thought that was never going to work. Well. Fool me once, I guess. I mean, I shouldn't underestimate. Oh, he's breaking out the lightning spells now. And just like that, I've survived. Thanks for the key. What was that staff I just picked up? Oh, greater staff of silence. Ooh, fancy. I cannot believe that, folks. I absolutely cannot believe that. That to me is just... Wow. Like, that should have never happened in a million years. I'm never gonna get over that. I'm gonna be thinking about the sheer luck of that for a long time, I think. Let's rest, man. I mean, we did it. And I should just be able to open this. Or not. Or that key I have doesn't unlock that. But that's fine. We'll go around because I'm not dealing with that again. And no, I'm not going to try auto attempts. I've already pushed my luck with that once. I knocked him down. Like I said, all I needed was a way out. A way to move. 
And separating those zombies from that guy until I could kill them was a big help too. But now I can actually take my time and try to loot the place. Because I'm still trying to get new gear. I haven't given up on trying that, you know? Unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff here that is very hardly locked. Which means we are going to have to go back to the lock picking thing now. But at, this, at least at this point, I am extremely less frustrated. I should load that actual save there. And then quick save. The frustration is gone. I'm no longer in a rush trying to escape a fight that I needed to escape. This is just opening stuff that I don't have to open anymore. And I'm glad that one part of the game is done. It took 20 minutes of me trying to open that door the first time in that in that one video. Not, not a complete 20 minutes. I think I spent the first 10 minutes actually trying to fight. But... But you see how easily that one dude dropped my health when I was just able to focus on him. Imagine what he could do if those two zombies were still with him. Like I said, that's why it's important to, to make distance and they locked you in a room where you can't make distance. And that's just, that's not how I've been having to fight my way through this game. Every combat in this game is just difficult. Every combat. I remember I lowered it to easy for one particular fight, and I think I raised it back to normal because I didn't want the game to... I, I didn't want to feel like I was, um... Like... I don't know, like... Cheating myself, you know? Like, games with, with scrollable difficulty, I usually just leave it where it's at, you know? But... It might be time to lower it back down, because just... Sometimes, man, these fights. <sighs> Come on, man. Maybe I should go back to trying this. <laughs> you know, it worked the first time. Yeah! <laughs> that seems to get me further! An ebony diamond ring. 405 gold. That seems to get me further. <laughs> than than trying to do it myself. Yeah. And it even gave me the most valuable thing in the world. And as I imagined, this led into more combat. Precisely why I didn't want to go this way. Probably a zombie. Whom I, of course, missed. This is not a dread zombie, at least. Easily dealt with. See? I like when it's easy. I'm still waiting for more opponents I can one hit with a sneak attack. What this game was what this whole character build is supposed to be all about. And it's just not happening. And there's another one. As I said, I could just leave through the normal gate right now, but I'm gonna finish exploring this place because it has provided me with some significant loot upgrades. And his friend over there is completely oblivious to me. But will not be for much longer. Huh. <sighs> Sorry, still coming down from that nonsense battle. That was just so silly. And I, by silly, I mean just poorly designed. Ha! 
Hello. Armor 6, huh? See what I mean about finding upgrades? That might be better. Greaves is... Pants, I think. Although these are Greaves. Oh, but I'm still wearing these. So Greaves are not the same thing as gauntlets, apparently. Oh, no, it, it, it's the pants. Okay. Fortify Restoration, Fortify Destruction, and Blessing of the Eight. Let's find out what the Blessing of the Eight is. By going over here. No active effects are over here. Hold on, it's, it lists here. Uh, okay. So, Greaves of the Crusader are fortifying destruction. They're fortifying my restoration. And that's it. Destruction and restoration. But what do they do normally for their magic? Destruction and restoration. So I'm still losing the blessing of the eight. So where is that listed? Blessing of the eight, here we are. What's oh, a spell? Shield twenty percent for sixty seconds on touch. That's a touch spell. I don't need that. So, we go back to our armor. So, it's got... Restoration and Destruction. And it's only armor 2. <laughs> this is armor 6. So, what kind of things can I put on it? Restoration and Destruction, huh? I don't really need any of those. Chameleon 25, Fortify Magicka, Fortify Health, Fortify Health even a little less. I think I want to use that one instead of that one. Fire Shield 25, Feather, Fortify Magicka, Shock Shield, uh, Shield 20%. I'm still not sure what the shields actually do. Fortify health even more. I think we're going to use the shield 20%. Or do we want the health bonus? But the disintegrate armor is, is just not something I find useful as a weapon bonus. So the only benefit that I can really use this thing for is for the shield. So we're going to put this on the greaves. See? This is why I wanted to loot the place, because you can find good stuff. Uh, what should we call it? <laughs> I'm blanking on a name. Pants. Let me think. Uh, I, I, I mean, we could just be kind of lame with it. Why not? Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. Ta -da! Now we got glass pants. So keep an eye out for glass equipment right now, because it's just better than my current armor. I know they said they, I know somebody told me that it levels up with you, but I feel like it's not, you know? <laughs> like, not anymore. Like, they said, oh, you can just keep that armor for the rest of the game. Well, I'm not feeling that right now, dude. <laughs> I'm feeling like I just gained four more points of armor. And got a shield to boost, to boot. Like, maybe if I come back way later and find that the stuff has gotten better. But at this moment in time, 
Actually, what am I doing? Just, just do that now, from now on. It's a lot less frustrating, and it seems to work. Seems to. Get out, I've just really been getting lucky. Because normally I'm used to this whole other one something not working. Like this. Oy vey. We'll try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, we'll go back to trying to do it the hard way. Okay, we're going to try to do it the hard way again. Ah, phooey. Ah, phooey. 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 Ah, a tongue. I, I don't know why I always say just attention, but <laughs> it's just a fun word. Okay, that one was just me not paying attention. Come on, load. Thank you. I wonder how many of those spells I magically gained I was able to keep. I realize we're past the 20 minute mark, but I want to try to get this chest open before we end the video. There could be like a glass curus or something, you know? If there's a glass curus, I'm probably going to wait till I get, uh, I find, oh look at that, it worked. Until I find another oblivion gate. You know, that's not a bad reward. The one right in front of me. And the exit is actually right over here. Sweet. And I have a level up too. When we come back, we will meet up with that dude again. Melvin or Marvin or whatever his name was. And give him this stone that we worked very hard for. I will see you all later. This is One With Tacos saving and signing out. And we're going to do another video because... I don't want to give you guys a ripoff with 20 minutes of just me opening a door. That's what it was, but at the same time, you need to see that. Because everything I go through, you need to see. So you want, you can understand my experience of this thing and have, have your experience coming in aware. Uh, how, am I, how am I saying this? I'm saying this wrong. Um, so that you can be aware of how this game works. More, what's what I'm trying to say. See you all later. What? So who is unconscious? Signing off, and bye-bye.